Hi, I'm Katie, and if you're watching this video, you're probably researching the Dachshund Miniature Pinscher Mix, or Doxy Pin, as a potential new companion. Well, you're already one step ahead of me. You know how much research I did before bringing Henry home? Stick around to the end of the video to find out whether or not the Dachshund Miniature Pinscher Mix is a good dog for a first-time dog owner. So let's get into it. Now, as I said, I did zero research before I adopted Henry. I saw him in the shelter, I adopted him, I brought him home. Keep in mind though that all of these are generalities and so they should be taken with a little pinch of salt because every individual is going to be a little bit different. Excuse you. Thank you for joining me. Yes. Here, come around. So let's start with the pros. Number one, they're incredibly loyal. Henry is basically like a baby duck. He follows me around the entire apartment. If he goes outside, he wants me to go outside and that's just the way of it. Number two, they are very loving and they're very gentle. They make excellent lap dogs as well. Henry is at his happiest when he's by my side. Number three, because they are smaller dogs, they do tend to suffer from what I call the Napoleon Bonaparte syndrome. That is, little dog, big personality. Number four, in general, dogs and miniature pincher mixes are not big on barking. If your individual dog is a bit of a barker. There is some training that can be done. I suggest speaking with a professional dog trainer to see how best to go about that. Now the fact that most of them are not big on barking means that they're gonna do well in an apartment setting, which brings us on to point number five. They adapt very well to apartment life. Henry has a lot of energy sometimes, but it's very easily run out. He probably needs about an hour of exercise a day, and that's about it. Docs and miniature pincher mixes are primarily indoor dogs. Now moving on to the cons. Dachshunds are known to be stubborn. Miniature pinchers are known to be stubborn. Mix that together, you're probably going to have a stubborn dog. And that's, that is the first con. This little dog is very, very stubborn. He doesn't like wet grass. He gets stubborn. He tries to dig his heels in and say, no, I'm bigger than you. I'm going to pick him up and I'm going to put him in the wet grass. Now dachshund miniature pincher mixes, and this is point number two as far as cons, they can be very high energy dogs. It's easily run out, but they are high energy. When I first brought Henry home and he relaxed in his new environment, he felt comfortable. He was pinging off the walls. And if you don't run the energy out, they can get destructive, as with most dogs. It took several months for Henry to begin to calm down. Now, the older he gets, the calmer he's going to get. Now, as I said, they are primarily indoor dogs. If you are an outdoor person, this is not your dog because Number one, they are primarily indoor dogs. But number two, they are rather timid, particularly around new people and new places and things. On top of that, they cannot handle extreme heat or extreme cold. They like a happy medium. They can be vulnerable to heat stroke. Now, any dog can be, but this little guy is black and tan, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> So the last con for these dogs is, like their dogs and parents, they can be prone to obesity. My little dog is a piggy at heart, and he would willingly eat a lot more food than I give him. These dogs can get overweight very quickly, and if they don't have a very high activity level, well, it sets them up for some health problems. Speaking of which, they can inherit some potential health problems from those parents. Because they are long-bodied, like the dachshunds, they can be prone to hip dysplasia, they can be prone to IVD or IVDD or invertebral intervertebral disc disease. They can throw their back out, essentially. They can have back and spine problems. And another thing too, come here Henry, these floppy ears here, they can be prone to ear infections. He can also have sensitive skin. And one major health problem that I didn't realize these little dogs could potentially have, Henry does not, thank goodness, is epilepsy. That's not to scare you off the breed, but it is something to be aware of. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for giving me a chance. And if you've liked what you've seen so far, then just subscribe, comment, like, all those YouTubey things. I'd appreciate it. But let's get to the real question, which is what you have stuck around for. Are they good dogs? 
for first time dog owners. Ultimately, that's going to be a decision you have to make after everything I've talked about. And if you want an example of how a Dachshund Miniature Pinscher mix can be difficult to train, just watch this video right here and you'll see.